Hey guys, uh, this is Jack, and I'll be re reviewing this application called TeamViewer. And what it is is basically an application like GoToAssist Express. It allows you to connect to another computer's, uh, another person's computer, whether it's Mac or PC. No Linux support yet, but I think that will come later on. Um, and basically, you can go in the computer like screen sharing, but you can access their files and basically feel like you're on the computer, but you're not. You're, it's a remote access. Um, so it also works on your iPhone, iPod, so you can. Uh, it's easier for you to uh, when you're on the go to connect to your friend, your family, uh, computer, and help them with some tech support problems. So I'm demonstrating it using uh, connecting to my own Mac. Um, with my iPod Touch on the same network, but you can easily use the application uh, across any network. For example, if I'm at Starbucks and I need to check on my um, my, Ma my MacBook for some reason, and the application is on on both my MacBook installed on both my MacBook Pro and my iPhone, and they're both turned on, I can just go on my iPhone, do whatever I need to do, and log back out. So it doesn't have to be on the same network. That's what I'm trying to say. It can be on different networks as long as both uh, the application is installed, running, and both computers are connected to some sort of inter internet source. So without further ado, let's get this uh, demo slash review started and uh, I'll sh be showing you what to do, how to do, and what it is in the next clip. Uh, so stay tuned. Bye guys. Hey guys, uh, this is Jack and today I'm going to be showing you how to control your computer, Mac or PC with your iPhone or iPod Touch. Um, your, this application is called TeamViewer. You don't need to be on the same network. With, with, by that I mean your iPod, iPhone, and your computer. But for, for demonstration purposes, I don't have another network to set up and you know create to have this uh, it's like Jadu teleport but it's better it's more it's easier to use because you don't need to do all those configuration all you need to do is install the application on both your iPhone or iPod touch now I'm gonna go ahead and launch the application on my Mac first to prepare that there's the icon and there, there you go I'm gonna go back to my iPod here There's the icon. All right, and I'm going to uh, type in my ID and password, something I'm not going to show you guys. The password changes every single time, but your um, ID does not. So I'm going to connect my partner, connect, and uh, there you go. Shows this instruction screen. I'm going to click continue. And there you have it. There's this is my Mac screen right here. Okay, it's really cool. It's really uh, smooth and intuitive, and just feels second like nature. Um, you can achieve right click by using this button, and you can have right click. And uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can close this up window here. There you go. You have a keyboard here. Um, you press this button up here, you get like function keys and you know scroll and print and whatever some you know other keys. And you have your uh, command, alt, and control and escape key. And this key gets rid of the keyboard and you have the status bar. Now you can close your connection or you can zoom out, zoom in, whatever your preference is. I'm gonna zoom out because I don't want to show you my password. But in the options here, you can control which monitor. For example, you can you can control multiple monitors. I'm not sure what the limit is, but Keep it like less than a, more, no more than two because uh, it's it's gonna lag. Um, you can choose whether you want to have better quality or better speed, or you can do automatic. Uh, remove wallpaper. My wallpaper is currently a blue color. If you see, if you notice that, um, it's, I think it's easier for it to transmit to my iPod uh, to, so I can control. But for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn that off. I can toggle switch, turn off, turn on, and yeah, I'm gonna turn it off and go back. But as you can see here, um, no, that's the wrong one. Uh, but the colors, colors, I don't know if you can see that, but the colors are really, really dithered, and it looks horrible. So if you have awesome, like, screen state or wallpaper, and you go and use it here, it's going to look really bad. So I suggest you keep the, you know, the bluish wallpaper. That looks actually pretty nice. Um, you can log your stuff as usual. Um, so back, back in here... I'm going to launch Safari just to, for demonstration purposes. There you go. Safari is launched. If you, um, I'm not, I don't know if I can, let's go to YouTube and I'll show you the, the lag of video. As you can see here, look at that, look at that. That is horrible dithering. But I, again, I, can, I think I can control that by going to quality. I can control op, optimize quality so I get better quality image. For example, this. 
my speed might suffer. Um, if you want better, better like you know, like picture, I suggest you just use better quality. Speed is not gonna be that slow unless you're on a really, really slow network. Um, for demonstration purposes, it's fine. Not gonna be doing any Photoshop work or any like photography stuff here. So go to YouTube, and you can see my computer goes to YouTube as well. But again, you can notice the the. Um, let's see if I can show this real fast. There's gonna be a lag. Look, see, you can see the lag uh, in the video here. Yeah, but that's okay. You're not be watching YouTube videos here. You can watch it using the native YouTube application. So I'm gonna co close this uh, Safari window, and I'm gonna go down. So what I really like about this application is one, it's super easy to use. Um, you, you literally do. It can be a noob, and you can use this. You can diagnose your friend's computer problems. Um, oops, I'm going to keep it here while I talk. You can diagnose your computer problems with your friends. It's super easy. All you have to do is simply just ask your friend or family member to um, install the application. For On a Mac, it's drag and drop and double click on the application. And it shows you your password, your ID, and you give it to your, your, uh, the person who's giving you. You just ask your friend or family member for the ID and password. They tell you, you log in, fix your problem, go away, you're fine. And um, it's really also, the interface is really smooth, it's, there's literally no lag unless you're on a really slow network. Um, my network isn't that fast, it's kind of an average speed, um, you know, average uh, connection speed. And it's not that slow, not that fast. I want to I watch videos through this, but if I was on a, um, in the bathroom, I had to check in my email real fast. Or if I'm, say, on a, on a, um, I'm on vacation and I didn't bring my computer, but I did bring my iPod, iPhone. Um, this works on a 3G connection. If you have 3G, uh, if you have an iPhone, um, but I don't have an I have an iPod, so can't demonstrate that. But you can you can use it on 3G. It any works anywhere around the world, uh, as long as both both devices are, on, are connected and it's turned on. Uh, so yeah, uh, really awesome application. It's free. Go download it. Try it. It's really fun. Really smooth and slick. Um, yeah. So free application. I'll show you the. I'll give you the this, uh, link in the description box. Please comment, rate, and sus subscribe to this to this channel video. Uh, do what you please. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Oh, one last thing. Um, I be I was prom was last week, and a lot of you guys that follow me on Twitter know I had a really good time with my date. And I'm gonna be doing a kind of a video ish about prom and also picture slideshow in that video. So please stay tuned for that. That will be coming this weekend. I have a really nice um, like I've I've been vi editing that video for a long time for for a couple days now. And I think I really did a good job. So please watch that this weekend. And other than that, have a good day, guys. Bye, guys.